Four Christmases. Is this holiday flick really as bad as the critics say it was after it's been almost 15 years since it came out? Or can I just prove they're wrong and give this film some good old-fashioned Big D justice? Find out right now in this review. Ho, 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 ho. This is Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. Ho, ho, ho. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Dual, better known to as The Big D, and this time around I bring to you a review of the 2008 Christmas comedy flick, Four Christmases, released by New Line Cinema, and directed by Seth Gordon. Films also known as Four Holidays and Anywhere But Home in, in some territories internationally. Now, the film focuses on a couple visiting all four of their divorced parents' homes on Christmas Day. The film stars Vince Vaughn and Reese Weirsborn, along with Robert Duvall, John Favreau, Mary Steenburgen, Dwight Yoakam, Tim McGraw, Kristen Chenoweth, John Voigt, and Sissy Spacek. Now, this is Seth Gordon's first studio feature film, as... This couple must travel to four Christmas parties after their vacation plans get canned due to a dense fog. And, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I was correct. It was... Actually, now, this was originally released by Warner Bros. along with New Line and Spyglass Entertainment, so I actually could consider it to be one, don't you think, yeah? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let it slide. So, let's just get into our story. The film focuses on Brian and Kate. They are an upscale San Francisco couple. Both come from dysfunctional families, divorced parents, and obnoxious siblings with out-of-control kids, so they disdain the idea of getting married or having kids. Then try to avoid their families at Christmas by traveling abroad, pretending to be doing charity work. On the third Christmas of their relationship, they plan to go to Fiji, but get trapped at San Francisco International Airport by a fog bank that cancels every outbound flight. The couple are also interviewed by a news crew alerting their families they're stuck at home for the holidays. <coughs> so Kay and Brad realize they can't get out of visiting Brad's father first. Which, let me tell you, is really outrageously really funny. Then Kate's mother, Brad's mother, and Kate's father. Four Christmases in one day. Bracing themselves for a marathon of homecomings, Brad and Kate expect the worst, but are still not quite prepared enough. Now, along the way, they keep discovering new secrets about each other they had previously been too embarrassed to share. Such as Brad's real name being Orlando and Kate's fear of inflatable castles from a childhood trauma and their and the strain their relationship. I gotta say, now, the fun really begins. I like it when Brad's trying to help out with this here um, satellite dish on top of the house. It's really crazy and what have you. Uh, and there's so much other things. And um, when Kate, well, has to get like, well, loses a pregnancy test, she uses. And it gets done in an inflatable castle. And boy, I gotta tell you. Yeah. Oh, boy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. As Brad counts down the minutes to free him, Kate studies their family's lives and realizes she does want marriage and children with Brad, the prospect of which frightens him when she mentions it. Yeah. Now for the, the ending and the final part. This is all the story I could give to you from my source. So you have five seconds to sub this video. Go to the description box and fast forward to the time below. If you've seen the movie, please continue. Okay, you've been warned. 
When they finally reach Kate's father's house, she asks Brad to let her go in alone and then gets out of the car and tells her family to have split up. Meanwhile, Brad returns to his father's and they have a quiet talk alone. Brad realizes he wants marriage and children in with Kate. He loves her too much to leave her. Returning to her, they discuss marriage and children, then finally head to Fiji. On New Year's Day a year later, Brad and Kate welcome their first child, a daughter, after spending nine months hiding the news from their families. As theirs is the New Year's baby, a news crew comes to congratulate them, once again revealing them and their new baby to the whole city and their families. Mm -hmm. And that's the end. So, what did I think of Four Christmases? Well, I will say it is in a way a guilty pleasure. I've seen it a few times. It's pretty funny in some ways. Now, the film got dissed by critics, though. According to Rotten Tomatoes, they say, despite a strong cast, this stellar holiday comedy suffers from a hackneyed script. Or how the heck you pronounce it? Yeah, I can understand. And the Hollywood Report says it's one of the most joyless Christmas movies ever. When unearned good, feel good ending that adds insult to injury. And criticized the film's script for situating Hollywood cliches about siren rednecks in Congress, in congressly went in the Tony Bay area. Well, I can't really complain about that. Sure, the story is kind of a the film story is kind of a mixed bag and what have you, but nonetheless, I thought it was. Well, fair enough, and why have you? The direction from Seth Gordon wasn't too bad. I mean, considering it was his first film. Now, this wouldn't be his actual first um, big, well, it would be his first big film, considering he had recently directed the, doc the documentary film, the King of Kong, a fistful of quarters a year before this. But this was his first major uh, film release for a major studio. After this, he'd go on to direct Horrible Bosses, Identity Thief, and Baywatch. Yes. Now, our cast, though, uh, on the other hand, I do think they have what it takes to save this film. Vince Vaughn's really good as Brad. I gotta give him credit for that. Same with Reese Wearspoon, who plays Kate. Very good. Robert Duvall plays Howard McVie. That's um, Brad's dad. Let's see. John Favreau plays Brad's brother, Denver. <laughs> That's pretty funny. funny. Let's see. Mary Steenburgen plays Marilyn Kincaid. If I'm not mistaken, that's Kate's mother. Let's see, there's Dwight Yoakam playing the character of Pastor Phil. Yeah, they kind of get involved on this here, um, manger scene at, um, church later on. Yeah, that was real awesome. Tim McGraw plays, um, Dallas McVie, um, another one of Brad, Brad's other brother. Kristen Chenoweth plays the character of Courtney. John Voigt plays Creighton Kincaid. Sissy Spacek plays the character of Paula, and... Well, the list goes on. <clears throat> Excuse me, everyone. Now, actually, uh, fun fact, I just saw that um, one of the film's executive producers was Pierre Billingsley. Yes, you heard me correctly, as in Pierre, Pierre Billingsley, a.k.a. Ralphie from A Christmas Story. Now, he has a credit role as an airline ticket agent. I I didn't know that, but now I do, if I have to watch this again. But anyway, yeah, I think Four Christmas is pretty underrated. It, it is, and yes, it is in a way a guilty pleasure. Now, the film did okay. 
it opened in second place, and um, when it opened, right behind Twilight. And then it managed to, um, to surpass Twilight over Thanksgiving weekend as it came out on November 26, 2008. So anyway, now the film did do all did nicely here in U.S. making 120 million, but not too well overseas, where it only made 43 million. So overall, the film went to make 163 million worldwide. It also had a soundtrack as well that featured numerous tracks from, well, from Tom Petty and Bing Crosby, Louis Armstrong, Perry Como. Yeah, so many others. So anyway, for Christmases, I still think it's a pretty funny movie, though, in some ways. You may like it, you may not. But what I recommend it, well, I'd say since the spy ain't got this and what have you, I think just to be on the safe side, give it a one-time watch. If you like it, good. If not, then I'm understanding, okay? So, what are your thoughts on Four Christmases? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this, click the like button, subscribe, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Join me next time when I bring to you a mini-review on the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday, or should I say Christmas special. So, thank you and if, for checking this out, and if you like this, you may want to check out some of these other reviews which are absolutely really funny uh, well how they feel in the upper left hand corner is my review of planes trains and automobiles which i recently reviewed not so long ago last month or go to the upper right hand corner and see my review of one of my one of my favorite with holiday films one of my top 10 faves and that would be home alone or if you would like some, or if you want something else, something different, you can check out my review of my, my absolute favorite Reese Witherspoon films in Legally Blonde from 2001 in the bottom left-hand corner. And the bottom right-hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.